This is a presentation on the new features of AlphaCam 2015 R2. This presentation will deal with the changes and enhancements we have made to the graphical user interface or GUI. Our first change to the GUI for this version has been to introduce what we call the radial menu. Many of you will be very familiar with seeing this menu appear when you right click in the graphics area and obviously there are many commands on there that are available to you but the commands are fixed you can't change anything that's on there and as we freshened up the interface with the ribbon bar we decided that we could give you more functionality as well on the right click menu so we've introduced what we call the radial wheel so this radial wheel will pop up centered around where you click in the graphics area um, it will obviously display the menu items that you configure onto it. There is a default configuration when you install but this is completely configurable by the user so you can put all the commands on there that are useful to you to improve how you work and speed up your processes. As I said this menu is fully customizable. It has the same method of customization as we use for the ribbon bar. Uh, as you can obviously see it's radial so we have the positions in the list that you see to the right of the configuration screen. The item at the top will appear at the three o'clock position on the wheel and all of the other items will be clockwise around it from there. We have these user definable sub menus and these will get basically you'll see an arrow on the radial wheel and if you hover over this it will give you a pop up of further commands. Obviously if you try and put everything on the wheel then it will become quite crowded. So this actually allows you to get very many commands. The size of the pop up menu is obviously defined in an included angle around the wheel from basically 18 to 360 degrees you'll find obviously that you'll put X many commands on there and the number of commands that you have will determine what size we um, pop up that you have and we'll look at this a little bit more in the demonstration we have the f full facility to reorder the list so when you add an item if it's not in the right position that you obviously like to make things easy to work with you can reorder it to, to however you require and this is obviously also within the submenus as well. Should you require it, if you prefer the right click menu as it was in the 2015 R1 and previous versions, you can select the Use Legacy Context Menu checkbox and you will still go and get the right click menu appear. We have obviously the import export options, the same as we have with the ribbon bar, but it is independent to the ribbon bar. This saves a separate XML file for the configuration of the radial menu. But once again, you can obviously then take that XML file to a different PC, or even you can import it into different modules just to make all your versions of AlphaCam look the same. Also now, as an addition not to do with the radial menu but now when you have an operation and you apply a special edit i.e. the uh, toolpath optimizer or maybe adding support tags a little star will appear alongside the operation to indicate that operation has had a special edit applied we've also now will in into automatically import the existing ribbons from your 2015 R1 version into R2 and there is now a dedicated folder for where the configuration files go. This is where the XML files would be saved to by default. Obviously you can also uh, save them in your own folders if you require. So now in Lycom there is a configurations folder which will contain those if you don't change from the default. With a quick access toolbar, we've obviously now added the option to reorder it. Whereas before you could configure it, but obviously any time you added the items to it, they would be in a fixed order. 
and if you didn't like them in the order they were done you had to remove everything and then go and add them all back in the required order whereas now you can just simply reorder them the same as we do with the tabs on the ribbon bar we've had the option to insert a separator this just puts a little bar next to the command which basically can separate them out into sections of applicable commands it's just make it a little bit easier for you to, to view and use and we've also gone and added the quick access toolbar into Alpha Edit. So let's have a look at these features now within AlphaCam 2015 R2. So if I right click inside the graphics area, the radial menu appears, and it appears centered around the mouse cursor. So if I click over here, this is where it'll appear. However, if I get too close to the edge of the graphics area, it then appears away from it because it only ever displays inside the graphics window. So this is the default configuration and we can see we have our pop-up. So if I hover over this, then obviously the items appear for that pop-up menu and you get a tool tip to tell you what it contains. So this is break join, etc. And here we can see move copy, etc. with all the translation commands. So there might be some buttons on here that I may not want. I may not want to have the background color on the direct radar menu. So let's look at configuring this. So if I right click on one of the ribbons and then go to customize the radial menu, we have the configuration dialog appear. So if I don't want a command, I can find it and then simply remove it. And this hasn't removed it from the whole system. It's just going to appear in the list of commands and we can always add it back in or add it back in somewhere else if we require. So here's the list, and obviously, as we've sort of like said, this is the position where we start at 3 o'clock on the radial wheel. And I have the options of obviously moving these items around as I require. And if we actually look at the items within a sub-menu, I can move them obviously within the sub-menu as well. If I move them up, then they actually move out of the sub-menu, and I can just move them down to put them back into the sub-menu again. So if I create a new submenu, we get the pop-up come up, and I might think I might like to have some work playing commands on my radial wheel. So I give it a title, and if I'm not sure about the size of it, I could start with the default 180 degrees. We'll say OK to that. So here it is, it's appearing where I had the cursor clicked, so if I wanted that at the bottom of the list, I can always move it down, but I need to have some commands on it first. So let's add some work plane commands in. So let's go find my commands. And I might like to have the two lines for X and Y. So we add that into there. So it gets added into the work plane sub menu. Um, I might like to have cancel work plane, existing geometry, and let's go for slice through work volume as well. And I might generally want to have the cancel work plane at the bottom of the list, so I can move that down within the list. And if I require, I can move the work plane submenu to the bottom. So if we say close to that, and I now right click, I can see here I have my new submenu for work planes. And we see here our 180 degree included angle. As you can see, the buttons are maybe a little bit big, so maybe that's not quite required to have it that large. So let's go and edit it. So once again we go to customize the radial menu, find our sub menu and edit. And let's look at maybe having that at 90 degrees. So we say OK, close that, and then we'll see how it pops up. And the buttons are a much more reasonable size now, covering a 90 degree included angle. We obviously also have the import export options, so this will export the XML file and import the saved XML file. And if you're unhappy with what you've done, you can click reset, which takes it back to the default configuration. We obviously get the option here where we can show tooltips, and also, uh, should you prefer the, the legacy menu, you can tick this and then get your standard right clicker menu. So that takes us through the main functions of the radial wheel. Uh, if we have a quick look at the quick access toolbar, we can obviously see now that we do have this option here for reordering. 
and this option for this insert the separator so I untick this it removes the bar we can obviously see here that it's working dynamically so we tick insert separator it comes back in and it just subdivides it up to work quite nicely so this is obviously where we've added an, the reordering and the insert separator and once again you can reset this there's no um, import export options for this as this gets saved as part of the ribbon configuration so now let's have a look at our special edits indicator I have a part on screen as you can see here's the operation and I'm going to right click on this and activate the toolpath optimizer so let's activate this set the values applicably we can see that our toolpath has been updated and now we get this indication here that we have a special edit and this is obviously where we see in the special edits menu we get all of the special edits that would have been applied to that operation.